So what's up guys, your friend Stephen Finley back with yet another video. This one is based off of one of the last ones I shot where I mentioned a spec call that I keep on my lanyard. And two of you guys both asked, I'd love for you to do a video on that spec call. So I thought, well, what better way to do the video than with the guy who made it? Hey guys, Cason Short from Bill Byers Hunter Club. Dude. All right, that's enough, that's enough Cason. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cason, tell them what we did yesterday. Uh, we went dove hunting yesterday. And we shot them. So, this is Kaysen. That was kind of rude of me to interrupt. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Um, I'm gonna change angles. I'm gonna actually film him, and I'm gonna ask him a couple questions. The questions I'm gonna ask is, tell me about tell me about your spec calls. Why did you get into doing it? Why did you make them? What were you looking for when you make them? Because the thing I mentioned specifically was, if you get them with brass guts, it's a game changer. So I kind of want to talk about that. And then the goal of this is hopefully you will go find him and subscribe to his Instagram account or his YouTube account, Case in Short or Bill Byers Hunter Club for Instagram. I'll put that there in the uh, in the video. Um, but go check out what he's doing. They, these guys have had this farm for 70 years and he's doing a whole lot of stuff that other people are trying to do. He was doing it before it was cool. So um, let's get into spec calls. All right. So it started out, really we were having calls duck calls made, custom calls made at a kind of local call company here, probably a lot of you would recognize the name. And we kind of got into exotic material, be it stabilized wood, African black wood, just stuff that at that time you really didn't see off the shelf everywhere. It evolved a little bit in kind of the chase for what was the Westinghouse micarta. A really sought after duck call that was made and not a material that you can go get anymore. And we realized that people were taking denim and fiberglass resin and making a version of micarta and then making knife handles out of it. So, man, if you're doing a knife handle with it, why can't we make a call out of it? So we make these blocks up, this giant block of denim, blue jeans and fiberglass resin, huge mess, cut it in some blanks, send it off to a shop to get them made and they send them back to us. Said it was too hard, they didn't want to turn it and they really didn't want to fool with it. So. At that point, it was kind of like, look, we're this far invested in it. Let's get a lathe, let's turn our own stuff, and we'll just start doing this. And grew up right here in Arkansas, been here forever. Like Steven said, my grandfather started this place in 1953. So duck calls are a big part of our life, folk art, everything about our culture of hunting. So I really didn't think that I could bring much to the duck call world. You're not gonna reinvent the wheel. There's a lot of wonderful duck call manufacturers out there, and I just didn't think we would be one of them. But one of my real passions in life is speculate hunting. Uh, I can nerd out about that if you guys want to hear a lot of details about research and stuff from a 12 year old boy up to an adult now, but just completely enamored with the species. And as a kid, there were not speculate calls. Nobody made one. I remember the first time I got my hands on a legitimate speculate call. So long story short, we decided to take those blanks, start turning them and start making our own goose calls. We thought that was actually an area that, that could be improved upon. Uh, and one of our guides at the time worked at a machine shop and was like, hey, let's try to make some guts. Uh, they had some brass material laying around. We started off with kind of a tone board, a generic shape, made a couple tweaks on it and backed into a really good, crisp, clean sounding set of guts. And when Steven was talking to me about shooting this video, he asked, you know, what makes the brass guts good? I said, well, think about it. If you're gonna Go pay money to go see a musician. Do you want to hear the guy that's using the plastic recorder that he got in music class or the professional on the brass instrument? It's a no brainer, right? That's the reason instruments are made of brass. It's a crisp, clean note, and it translates all the way back into the gut. So 
This is kind of an example of one of our denim calls that is alternating layers of blue and white blue jeans. And you can see the fiberglass resin filling in between it, but it turns out to make a pretty neat looking call in the end. Uh, and then we've got some other stuff here, like Corian countertops. So that one's pretty cool. Looks like marble, uh, pretty heavy. And then all the way up, there was a call maker here, local to us years ago, Alvin Taylor, uh, Taylor made calls. He made some aluminum calls, which were, again, very sought after, hard to find, very expensive call now, uh, and decided that that was something I wanted to do. So turned an aluminum call on a wood lathe by hand. Pretty difficult challenge, a uh, lot of hours in getting that thing spun, but a really high, high pitch sound in that one. You wanna run it? Not really, but I will. <laughs> I told you that was an interesting story. He's full of good stories. That's why we hang out. Because I don't know any good stories and he's got all of them. If you're interested in one of these calls, mm, I don't know what to tell you. Because it's not like he's making them all the time. But I think we might have just struck gold here. So l let me turn this over to him. I will make them. I do sell them. Uh, it's not something that is hugely commercial. I've got a lot of other things going on as well on top of having four kids, so a little bit busy. Uh, I do make them. I will sell them. Uh, you can find a Instagram, probably the best way to get in touch with me if you're interested in one. Uh, cool material, something that you've got on your mind that you want to get turned. Hit me up and we'll talk about it. All right. Well, there you go. Um, I think maybe the next time we'll catch up is during spec season, maybe you can see him uh, shoot some of these. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's all I got for this one. All right. See ya.